if there's one thing I know that would benefit my soprano playing, especially playing on the high register, is the overtone series. Although I know how valuable it is to do the overtone series, but the overtone series is one thing that is very tricky to master. It's very tricky to even do correctly. And for me, because of that reason, because it's very tricky to master, it's kind of discouraging for me to, to always do the overtone series. On the tenor, and the, also, I do manage once in a while to, to do it, but it's not part of my regular practice. It's not something I do every day when I pick up my instrument. So there's a great challenge there for me doing the overtone series on the soprano saxophone. Well, it's not that I don't get the, the high notes or when I, when I finger the low notes. That's not the problem. The problem is consistency. Let me give you an example. I find it really difficult to, you know, when I start the overtone series from the low, say the low B flat, I can get the, um, I can get to the, uh, so I say from the low B flat to the second B flat, which is on this one, the B2. And for me to move from the B2 to the next note, it's usually very difficult. I have to first of all pause, take another breath, to be able to voice out those notes. So on the tenor and the alto, uh, sometimes I, I easily can do it, you know, go from um, the low B flat to the other notes and then back. But since it's not something that is part of my regular practice, picking up the instrument and, and just in one go be able to do it, uh, it's really a great challenge for me. <laughs> The B flat, if you do the B flat overtones, it helps you to be able to hear the notes, the high D note, the palm D note, this note. Now I'm going to finger the B flat and try to play the high D palm note. See, it comes out pretty, should I say clean? much cleaner. I'm not sure if it's right in tune because if you hear the other D and this D I think it's right in tune. I think it's in tune this time around. The way your ambushure kind of forms to produce those very high notes is very is the same kind of ambushure you keep whenever you're playing the altissimo register. So it helps. That that is why overtone is very important because once you do it, then you have a feel of what amount of the amount of pressure you need to be able to voice those high notes on the um, if you're doing the altissimo register. But for this for the Soprano saxophone, it becomes really important for the, you know, for the palm keys because the palm keys are usually uh, out of tune and sometimes they don't even speak once you try to play, when you try to play them. So overtone series is essential 
but it's not an enjoyable thing to do. And of course, the neighbors, you know, when you keep doing this overtone series, it sounds like a dog barking or something, you know, <laughs> especially from the low notes. <laughs> So the <clears throat> the B the low B overtone, if you uh, sorry if you play the low B note, it helps you to get the overtone till about. Um, in my case, I can get it till about the high E flat note. This note. Ah. Ah, sounding very out of tune. So this is it. So that is the B flat, low B flat. I'm fingering the low B flat note while I'm thinking the high E flat. It's difficult now to get it, but the high, the low C sharp should enable you also get the the high E. Anyways, what I've discovered is that once I finish my overtone series. If I say do it like 10 minutes or so, if I want to play the the palm keys, they become kind of relaxed and easy. I think lifting weight is very much comparable to doing overtone series because once you lift the weight you feel it in your muscle you feel the contraction of your muscle and if you lift heavy weight your muscles contract even more so when you're doing overtone series your lip is doing the lifting it's like power lifting your lip is doing it and the more you know you you try to get the higher notes if you do, if you start from the B flat, for example, You know, for me, thinking about doing the high notes is comparable to, you know, lifting, doing more reps when you're lifting weights. You know, when you do more reps, let's say you're doing uh, 10 reps. You know, when you get to, say, the eighth, ninth, and the 10th uh, lift, you feel more kind of uh, resistance. So that is what the Overton series feels like. It feels like that resistance you feel when you're lifting weights. So once you want to get to those high notes, for example, if you want to get the high D when you are holding the low B flat note, when you hold when you hold down the low B flat note and you want to get the high D, it feels like you are closer to finishing your reps. You know that 
that resistance you feel like no i don't want it i want to drop it no i can't do it anymore i want to lift i want to leave it i want to drop it that resistance that's what you get but what is enjoyable is you know when you complete your reps and you drop the weight down you feel oh yeah i got it so that's the kind of feeling you get also when you when you are able to get a high note of uh of the series of the overtone series that note kind of mastery where each time you pull your over to series it speaks immediately i don't know if anybody gets to that level but that's not to say that somebody shouldn't aspire towards you know mastery if you want if, if that's what you want but uh in my case the overtone series is just for me uh, it's more or less something i do to help me get to where i want to go to it's not it's not the destination uh, at this point so if you enjoy my video and you would like to see more content from me please don't forget to subscribe thank you and see you next time